Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Solar Systems, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I feel about the Procyon Wars. Now, as we know, Procyon is a planet on the outer edge of the Cancer space, and it is actually two stars. We have Procyon A and Procyon B. Procyon A is a much larger star, while Procyon B is a tad smaller star that actually circles around Procyon A every 30 years or so. <sighs> Alright, so let's get right to it. What were the Procyonians doing that got so many other stars, or just a couple specific stars in fact, so riled up to the point that they had to attack Procyon, and Procyonians basically had to lift their shields up and cut themselves off for the world. Now, some people kind of say that they willed themselves into the zero realm or the zero space, basically, where all spirits kind of just resonate and exist before incarnation. If you sort of look at experience, like you're just going to the pool one day and you have to actually hop in these primordial waters to experience, that's basically where people thought Procyonians vanished to. However, we're going to get to that. So, what were the Procyonians doing? Well, basically, how people exist on Procyon is something quite similar to breatharianism. Here, at least, in the, our understanding. This is where you breathe, intake, minerals, oxygen, energy, basically everything you need from whatever the sun already has to give you. Now, where people sort of got pissed off at them is they sort of thought it was some Luciferian energy that they were doing because they were worshipping the light and potentially getting lost up into it. Now, what they were really doing with this energy is they were intaking their energy but not giving up their own free will and awareness. They were using their own intentions for this energy to create basically whatever they wanted. Now, if you know anything about free will and intention, there's not too much wrong with that, especially with this high level of dealing with light. They weren't even getting lost in the Lucifer's energy. They weren't blinding themselves with it. They were so pure because they didn't intake heavier forms of it that they could just exist and use that energy as they wished. Now, two of the main planets that actually took a noticeable part in the Orion Wars are the planets that were mostly pissed off at Procyon and were the source of why they actually bring their shields up to begin with. The first planet I'm going to be talking about is Rigel. Rigel is the main planet that basically set off the whole shebang with Procyon to begin with. They were the ones that thought they were getting lost in the Lucifer they were the ones that wanted to see what's going on and actually dove into uh, breaking that up and trying to plant bad seeds on their star, plant bad seeds in their aura field and do all this negative shit to basically stop them from doing what they were doing. This isn't what ended up happening. However, they were the ones that kicked all the shit off and caused these problems to begin with. No, not everybody was happy about it. No, not everybody is happy about it. And they kind of still need to make amends with this planet. Yes, the Procyon shields may have been lowered recently. However, you know, there are still wounds that need to be healed. Now, the other planet that has always been kind of shysty and always been causing problems on Procyon and throughout the galaxy, you may know it. If you know anything about the Lion's Gate, it's literally that star that you're looking at, Sirius. Sirius has always been kind of the lackluster planet that has always lacked the recognition and ego that its constellation would imply it had. These people are always meddling in affairs. If you remember back from Atlantis, Sirius is the one that basically broke the accords between the two sides of Atlanteans and caused the problems there to begin with. So when the shit started going down on Procyon, these people literally were the ones that were just like, oh, Rigel's getting in on this, might as well get in on that too. And they kind of just piggybacked on the whole experience in itself. This is the problem, and this is why Procyonians may not like people from the nether regions of Orion and the nether regions of Leo. This is why.
All right, if you guys did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're more curious about the actual traits of a Procyonian, we have that video right here, six traits on a Procyonian starseed. Now, what this video was, it was merely an intro to the war on Procyon and what the lower regions of Orion did to us. So, we are going to actually be doing an entire video series on this, so wait till that gets made and just follow along. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. If you want a reading, email us at solarsystems999 at gmail.com. We'll be happy to help you with that. And anyways, thanks for following us, guys. Peace.